You're ready. Hi, uh, David Constable. I play Tad Billingham. Mm -hmm. Pastor Tad Billingham. <laughs> uh, I am Tim Kring, creator, co creator, and executive producer. Mm -hmm. The show is Dig. Dig. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first question I have is uh, either an easy one or a very difficult one, Tim. Um, I'm wondering where the inspiration for the show came from. Well, it was actually Gideon Roth who had mm -hmm. the core germ of the mm -hmm. idea about uh, doing a murder investigation set in, uh, in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and set around the idea of of an archaeological dig mm -hmm. and what was being uncovered by that dig, and that that dig was uncovering uh, or a murder set in that in that uh, in that setting was uncovering something much deeper than just the murder. Mm -hmm. and in this case, a conspiracy mm -hmm. that had its roots in uh, two thousand year old prophecies, mm -hmm. and um, so that was kind of all I needed to hear and. And the two of us got mm -hmm. together and started working on on the story and created a structure that was a, more akin to the kind of stuff that I had done uh, on on Heroes and Our Touch, mm -hmm. uh, with the idea of doing multiple pastiche kind of storytelling. Yeah. You have a storyline that happens over here and one that happens over here, and you converge them together. Okay. And, and one thing that I've been asking everyone about is about the role of religion, both in the world and in the show, how for some it's a source of comfort, and for others it's a pathway to power. So, uh, Pastor Ted, um, I guess the question I had for you is uh, how your character feels about it and how you feel about your character and the way he acts. I think that one of the things that, that, that I continue to be excited about by the writing that these guys have created mm -hmm. is that they are, um, the, the personal and the political are always intertwined, mm -hmm. so that there isn't any sense that one is, um, that one actually is uh, propelling the other. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that, I, I find that to be true mm -hmm. just in the observable world. Mm -hmm. And I think it also makes the best storytelling because when you intertwine someone's um, personal need for their political mm -hmm. need, uh, you, it, they become very difficult to uh, extricate one from the other. Mm -hmm. And the fact that that is taking place inside of a religious context, certainly mm -hmm. for my character, but also for a large part of the story, um, is exciting, and I think it's I think it's smart. And one of the things mm -hmm. that it doesn't allow anyone to do is to uh, point fingers and say this mm -hmm. person's a bad person and this person is wrong about mm -hmm. what they believe because it's personal. Yeah, it's an ingra it's a gray area. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but but um, you know, by the same token, it is a show uh, about. About some mis some misguided paths mm -hmm. and about fanaticism <laughs> and and what and if anything it's 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 a, a show that that takes a takes no stand on any one religion mm -hmm. good bad or different it does take a stand on fanaticism and mm -hmm. and the, the power of fanaticism to bring about destruction and um, and especially when people try to use um, religion and then twist it in ways to, to make it more yeah. um, you know self-serving and so the show does not shy away from the idea that of saying that we as a cautionary tale, we should all be aware of fanaticism. Mm -hmm. Because when you allow one person's singular need mm -hmm. to be the focus of guiding other people, mm -hmm. you lose the sense of that it isn't just about my need. There are many other people who can and should have a voice in coming up with what we're going to do. Yeah. I tell you, is it, the, is it a bicycle? It's a very heady place. Yeah, really. Very heady <laughs> place. Oh, yeah, I asked everyone else the phone questions. Yeah. You guys got I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. I'm very excited. Yeah. Go enjoy some not deep shit. Nice. Okay, thanks, guys.